What are you habitually attaching to? This is the 365 Days of Multi-Level Marketing Journey to Freedom Podcast with Rome Batchelor, where Rome shares his daily journey from down and out to total financial freedom in one year, along with pro tips, tricks, strategies, and tools to help you join in on the journey. Now, here's Rome with today's Journey to Financial Freedom Podcast. Today, we, day 43, we want to talk about something from another perspective that you may not have consciously considered, and that is what are you habitually attaching to? Are you attaching to thoughts of failure, thoughts of pain, thoughts of frustration, thoughts of discontent, or are you attaching to thoughts of success, thoughts of victory, thoughts of health, thoughts of success in whatever aspect you're wanting to, uh, uh, you know, align yourself with that you want to produce in your life. Because if you're uh, attaching habitually, not only with your thoughts, but watch this, with your words, with your words. Here's another way of explaining that. Do you complain? Do you habitually say it, why does this always happen to me? Or if it, you know, I heard somebody say the other day something that's, you know, people say sometimes uh, ignorantly, you know, I can't win for losing, you know. So that is so failure creating because what you're doing is your words produce an unconscious image. We've talked a lot about what are you seeing? that you're, what you see is what you get. The image that flashes by default, consciously, but more importantly, unconsciously, is where your faith is aligned. That is your faith. I believe from studies of the uh, Greek text and so forth that faith is nothing more than your default image because your mind thinks in images, of course, and in evaluations, Uh, bring up and are associated with those images, but your mind thought thinks in images. So your faith is your default image, and that is what you're going to produce in your life. Even Jesus validated that point that, you know, whatsoever you believe that you have received, meaning you see the image of it already being true, you will have it. Whatever you believe you have received, you will have it. He said, Whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and, and doubt not in your heart, but believe, you know, believe it, it shall be done based on based on your belief. You know, that's ad libbed a little bit, but that is Mark eleven, twenty three and twenty four for you know what's a, what you believe you have received, you will have it. So it's very, very important that we pay play, pay close attention to what we're programming our default images, what we align our images to. And that is based on the questions we ask ourselves consciously and habitually, unconsciously, and by our programmed uh, surroundings based on who we associate with, watch what we watch on, on television, if we watch television, what we're seeing in the movies and magazines and the data sphere, what we're hearing people say in the background. See, when you're reading success, full literature, when you're hearing successful talking, when you're associating not only in the, uh, with your connections, with your relationships, where you're spending time with, who are you spending the most time associating with, and what is their success in life? See, when you associate with people who are succeeding, they have a default image already of success. They have a default faith for victory for success in the areas they're succeeding. So when you're around those people, it just naturally comes out in their thinking and their attitudes and their belief systems. See, whatever you get the tuning fork, you know, when you get to tuning, the tuning fork and you get it near, they take each other one, 
will adopt to the stronger vibration of the other. Whichever one has a stronger vibration, the, they will, or they will both affect each other actually and they will come in perfect alignment. One could be one tune, one could be another, but they will adjust each other when they're in close proximity. Why? Because there's a thing called vibration and it happens with people too. It happens with radio waves and sound waves and images, whatever you're affiliating with, whatever you are associating with, whatever you are aligning with or attaching to in your life is going to produce a default faith in you. And that faith will produce your results. That faith will produce your results. So when you complain, for example, with your words, you're creating a conditioned new default faith or you're solidifying a failure faith already but when you speak victory even though results may not happen immediately you are conditioning your faith and your faith changes your results in your life see the questions you ask yourself, your evaluations, your why is this already true for me, whether it be for success, failure, happiness, sad, depression, good things or bad things, or as the Bible talks about good or evil, just life or death in general. See, the Bible says life and death are in the power of the tongue, and those that love it shall eat of its fruit. So whatever you are loving with your tongue, whatever you're speaking of will condition the image of your mind and that is your faith and your spirit and it will produce a result in your life so i want today i want to challenge you to consider consciously pay attention to what you are attaching yourself to because that's producing an image which is your faith which produces your results in your total life that doesn't mean saying something negative 10 times is going to produce a negative result that doesn't say it means saying something negative ten, positive 10 times is going to produce a positive it's what is the default image but by your words your questions more powerfully your questions your why questions why is this already true for me whether it is conscious whether you see it yet or not, see, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. The evidence of things not seen. So you're not lying. The Bible says it's what you don't see that your faith will produce and you will see it in the future. That doesn't mean you have to see it right now. So every effort should be aligning yourself with what you want in life and not what you don't want what you never want. You never want pain, failure, depression, but you do want success, victory, joy, happiness, prosperity, and harmony, right? You want all these things. So that's what you need to immerse yourself with. That's what you need to align yourself with. That's what you need to attach yourself to, both in your own goals but also in your surroundings because the surroundings when you're paying attention to the song on the radio as you're driving your car that song you may say well this is a positive song that's good but what are you seeing beside you on the road are you seeing a bunch of poverty a bunch of sadness a bunch of failure are you seeing images on on boards about you know sad you know sad situations on billboards to try to bring your attention to a cause that needs help you can't stop them completely but what you need to be is aware that you're being conditioned it's the tree of life or it's the tree of the knowledge of good and evil are you participating in life or death because the tree of the knowledge of good and evil brings death Paul says in scripture so we need to participate in the tree of life by aligning ourselves with everything that brings us life and not with the never with the opposite always with life so what do you choose to be true in your life the kingdom of heaven is at hand what do you want to produce Jesus said it he taught it because he wants you to be aware of it so today's podcast day 43 is what are you attaching yourself to? Hope this brings you some value. Until day 44, this was day 43. And I appreciate you for listening and sharing and liking this episode. Thanks for joining me in the journey. 
Thank you for sharing today's 365 Days of MLM to Freedom podcast. And remember to email your questions and comments directly to Rome at 365 Days of MLM at gmail.com. And until next time, we want to encourage you to join in on the journey.